Hello, I'm Sir Timothy Thrapp with World Improvement Through the Spirit Ministries and we're going to demonstrate the world's most efficient charger. Uh, it's actually over Unity and we're going to show that here, the charging part of it is. Uh, as, as a, We're going to demonstrate the system, overall system efficiency and as well as the uh, efficiency of the, uh, the, the charging part of the circuit. There's uh, and so what we'll start with, we'll start out with show it's zero watts plugged in here. And uh, we can show the, uh, the, uh, the wattage, we can show this, everything basically. Wattage and surrounding area, the words plugged in, the meters and everything behind it and so on. There's nothing hidden behind it. We can draw it in the table. Sometimes people think there's something hidden. Uh, the metal, the metal plate. In case people wonder what that's for, it's just because the wall was very dirty. This is a, this used to be a, paint, uh, a carpenter shop, and they were doing painting and varnishing and stuff. So we, uh, hopefully that don't bother anybody. Anyway, all right. So we'll have to turn this on, and we got zero watts. Before you turn it on, now the this just turns on the little computer here. There's a little computer on the screen. Uh, it says battery, charger, quickener, rejuvenator. The word quickener comes from the scripture that says if that same spirit, the Holy Spirit dwells in you, that raised, the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, that spirit, the Holy Spirit, will quicken your mortal body. And so this quickens the batteries. It'll quicken your mortal body a bit too, by the way. But anyway, uh, it, it, so what we're going to do, demonstrate now, now that we turned it on, and actually, we can we can actually go to the first page. It hasn't started until I hit start, but it's showing the battery setting about nine volts, nine point one. So zero target voltage. We haven't set that yet. Uh, but over here, I want to show that the one point eight watts is what it's drawing. One point eight, one point nine. Sometimes it flashes. Uh, what it's drawing just to run the computer. There's a little computer in here. Runs 1.8, 1.9. That's not the charging system because there's no power. Still zero amps coming out to the to the battery. That's a little nine volt battery here. We're going to demonstrate. You can charge any battery with this. Almost any battery, virtually any battery, and almost any battery pack as well. Uh, the only yeah yeah the, yeah virtually any battery, any battery pack, including non rechargeables, which this is a non rechargeable one by the way. Uh, you can charge any battery, any battery pack. In this one, we're going to demonstrate the efficiency of the machine, both overall efficiency and the charging part of it. In other words, minus the Arduino. The Arduino is obviously consuming 1.8, 1.9 watts. And so the difference between that 1.8, and we can round it off to 2, but anyway, the difference is be, will be what the actual charging circuit's using. So, uh, we will program in the target voltage, which a 9 volt battery, if you want to charge it up, it should be about 11 volts. So you hit setup, 11 volts, okay, and it says 11 volts on the target, 9 volts, 9.1 is where it's at now, and then we hit start, and you see the voltage immediately going up, 9.6, 9 9.7, 9 9 there we go, and we're drawing 0.3 amps. So if you do the math here, it's about 3 watts. As soon as it hits 10, it's, it keeps going up. As soon as it hits 10, that's 3 watts that it's taken in. And if you go back over here, the watt meter, it's only 3.3 watts. So what that says is overall efficiency is very close to 100%. Efficient, just under 99, 98, 95, somewhere in there. But if you subtract the Arduino, the Arduino takes 1.8 watts. If you subtract that, you realize that the charging circuit is about 300% efficient on this test with this battery. Now, that doesn't mean that every time you charge a battery, you'll be charging at 300%, but it means that it's way more efficient than any other system. Uh, the extra power is coming from ambient, same as a heat pump does. As heat pumps sit outside most people's houses, they, most of them work about 300%. 200% uh, maximum efficiency, 350%. Same kind of thing as this. Same, it's very similar. The, in, the energy from the environment can be harnessed, or ambient can be harnessed. Okay, we're at 10.1, 0.3, and watts-wise, 3.2, 3.4, 3.5, 3.4, 3.2, 3.4. 
and so the efficiency, again, if you multiply 10.2, right now it's 10.2 volts over here, and 0.3 amps here, you multiply these together, it's a little over 3 watts, about 3.3. This is about 100% efficient here, 98, 99. And again, that's overall system efficiency. If you subtract the 1.8 from the 1.8 watts that the, it takes to run this Arduino, or the, the little computer in here, it takes two, about 2 watts to run that. If you subtract that out, you find this thing's 300% efficient, almost. And we've had a lot of independent engineers test this. Uh, and by the way, this is automatic cutoff. Some battery chargers don't do that properly even. Uh, but this, when it hits 11 volts, it'll automatically cut off. And this is, again, it's a 9 volt battery. You want to charge all batteries about 20% higher uh, in that range. Um, and uh, again, even, even throwaway batteries can be charged if you know what you're doing. Uh, and we're at right 10.5 right now. And this will go all the way to 11, and then we'll cut it off. Um, See, I started to say something else. Let's see, I don't know if we covered everything. But anyway, so 3.3 in and 3.3 out right now. Uh, very close to that. Uh, so, again, very, very efficient system. Overall efficiency near 100%. And um, uh, and this is just talking about the charger. And then, again, if you subtract out the... Arduino, the two watts for the Arduino, you got 300% roughly on this, on this demo. And we've had them, we've had, a, oh, that's what I was going to say, a number of other engineers have measured this, and all of them pretty much agree it's the most efficient thing they've ever seen. Chargers typically range about 11% uh, average efficiency, some of them 20% average efficiency. And we're going to do another one here in a few minutes, we'll do a regular charger to see what kind of efficiency we'll get on that, but uh, I'm guaranteeing it's going to be a lot lower than, than what we're seeing here, which is close to 300% efficiency if you subtract the, what, this is a load by the way, this little computer is a load, all your computers are a load, that's why they run down, that's why you have to plug them in, uh, but there's an extra ambient energy source that's coming into the charging circuit that's making up for the two watts. And that same ambient energy source called quantum energy or ether energy, a lot of different names for it, but uh, it's coming into the circuit, charging, this, uh, charging, making it more efficient, making it 300% efficient, and just like uh, your, a lot like your heat pump brings uh, heat from the environment, and even if it's a cold day, it can still bring heat in. Same thing with ambient energy. Ambient energy is always here, and uh, it, well, I'll demonstrate later charging the battery as well. Uh, in other words, the battery over unity. Right now we are charging the battery, but we're not showing the output power from the battery. Later we'll be doing that, another video. Uh, so we're at 10.9, it's just about to cut off at 0.3 amps. And again, the watts, oh, we just cut off. Did we cut off? Yeah, I think we did. 10, yeah, we did cut off because it's 100%. So mm -hmm. it's resting voltage now. Uh, uh, 10 the, the 9 volt battery is resting around 10.1 and 0 amps see so it's cut off now and again the Arduino alone let's show one more time the Arduino alone draws 1.8 amps with nothing on it and, uh, in other words there's 0 coming out of that this 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 uh, charger this battery charger this quantum charger has a built in volt and an amp meter so if you don't understand that you may want to watch this twice because I should have said that at the beginning that's the built-in volt amp voltmeter, built-in amp meter, and you can set the target voltage to whatever you want. And so it gives you a full range of charging ability to charge any battery, plus the quantum energy that's in here helps rejuvenate the batteries as you go. And that's it. Think of anything else I should add? Okay.